Now, neuropsychology is a study between brain and behavior, while forensic neuropsychology is a study of how brain function relates to crime. It applies the concepts and practices of neuropsychology to help make legal decisions. To better understand forensic neuropsychology, let's talk about the professional roles in clinical and forensic neuropsychology. Forensic neuropsychologists have several roles which may include making evaluations of the nature and extent of any potential brain injury in personal injury trials, giving opinion about an offender or defendant's capability to be tried in a court of law where biological brain deficit is suspected, or helping in the mitigation analysis and capital sentencing. More criminal and civil matters include guardianships, fitness for duty evaluations, child custody, and educational proceedings. Clinical neuropsychologists aim to understand a disease process which contributes to cognitive dysfunction with the objective of treating a specific mental disorder or condition. And forensic neuropsychology applies some of the same neuropsychological principles used in the traditional practice but it also involves in-depth understanding of how legal system works and how decisions are reached based on evidence. So. Forensic neuropsychologists need to have additional training in order to understand legal proceedings, which is the method in which courts work, and how an expert relates to the legal system. Furthermore, the neuropsychologist's main responsibility is to the person seeking care. In clinical settings, the neuropsychologist provides care to the patient, which involves privilege and confidentiality towards the patient. In forensic contexts, neuropsychologists are employed by a lawyer, court, or other public or private organizations, such as insurance companies or school districts. Forensic neuropsychologist's role is to objectively examine an individual's neurocognitive function, which is based on assessment, collateral data, and evidence review to provide an informed opinion for the use of making legal decisions. This defendant killed her sister, and there is a clear evidence of this situation. Now the defendant has been sentenced to death, but the defendant's lawyer wishes to help make this sentence less severe. Because, as it turns out, during the investigation, it has been noted that the defendant is a kind and benevolent person. Only after a car accident did this defendant started acting out of her character. The family of the defendant agrees with the lawyer, so the lawyer employs a forensic neuropsychologist to assess the defendant. This defendant killed her boyfriend and all evidence point to that fact. However, this defendant is pleading for insanity defense. The opposing counsel doesn't believe her and subjects her to a series of tests. Created using Powtoon.